Smoothies, guys! Come get them! We, we start eating more whole uh, plant-based foods. We eat fiber. We eat good bioactives. Uh, we eat the, the positive bioactives in whole foods. We cut down on the chemicals, synthetic chemicals, artificial sweeteners, artificial flavors. We try to grow back the good guys, and the bad guys will start to go away. Because the good guys can overgrow. They can actually dominate if you give them the opportunity. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. Today, we're getting schooled on gut health by a rock star in the field of food as medicine, Dr. William Lee. Forget prescriptions and endless appointments. Dr. Lee believes the key to preventing and even reversing chronic diseases like cancer and heart disease might be chilling right in your fridge. This world-renowned physician and researcher isn't just another talking head. He's the president of the Angiogenesis Foundation, where they study how the food we eat impacts the blood vessels throughout our body. Dr. Lee's groundbreaking research has led him to champion a plant-based approach packed with powerful ingredients. His best-selling book, Eat to Beat Disease, has become a global phenomenon, and for good reason. Dr. Lee doesn't just preach, he practices. He's a passionate advocate for using delicious, natural foods to supercharge your health and well-being. So, if you're looking to unlock the power of food as medicine and transform your gut health with a smoothie, you've come to the right place. Check this out, kale, right? Kale is a brassica. It contains uh, healthy bioactives uh, like isothiocyanates, hard to pronounce, ITCs. They uh, create sulforaphanes and the things that make broccoli take, taste kind of sulfury. Uh, but it's really good for you. It's good for your immune system, good for cancer fighting, good for your circulation, good for your gut microbiome. Most of these uh, uh, kale has a good source of dietary fiber. You always now. The next ingredient. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Green tea has polyphenols called catechins. They help to fire up our brown fat to burn down harmful white fat so they consume fuel. When fat goes down, your metabolism will actually naturally rise at any age, even middle age people. And by the way, you're also burning away harmful body fat packed inside the tube of your body and eventually it will also start to affect the fat that you can see in the mirror. I do recommend about three cups of green tea a day. That's where the good stuff starts to happen in your body. Tea leaves or tea bags can actually be used over and over and over again. We don't actually have to throw it out and get a whole new pot. Just put some loose leaf tea, hot water, and you can sip that all day long and you'll probably have more than three cups over the course of a day. While Dr. Lee emphasizes plant-based ingredients, cheese and some fermented options aren't necessarily excluded. However, for these smoothies, we'll focus on gut-friendly powerhouses. Here is our first smoothie, Berry Blast. Ingredients. 1 cup frozen cherries or mixed berries. A half cup plain yogurt unsweetened. A quarter cup chopped kale or spinach. A quarter cup green tea. Why it's microbiome magic. Packed with antioxidants from berries, probiotics from yogurt, and prebiotics from leafy greens, this smoothie supports a healthy gut. Is that my smoothie? A lot of people don't know that bok choy, which is sort of core to Chinese cooking, um, actually is a relative of broccoli. It's in the same family of brassica. And the great thing about brassica and bok choy is that it actually contains a natural chemical called sulforaphane. Sulforaphanes actually protect your metabolism because when you actually eat baby bok choy, this sulforaphane, this natural substance, actually tames your appetite so you tend not to overeat. The other thing it does is it actually helps you lower the fat mass in your body, the harmful fat, and it actually um, uh, helps your uh, lipids. So it actually helps you control your blood cholesterol as well. On top of that, it activates your body's health defenses. There's nothing bad about well-cooked baby bok choy, especially when you put it with fresh garlic. No, the next ingredient. That over thousands of years, uh, kimchi itself has become such a tradition that it's actually developed its own special kimchi bacteria. So uh, one of these kimchi bacteria actually fights viruses and can actually fl lower the uh, incidence of flu. Here is our second smoothie, kimchi kick. Ingredients A half cup chopped bok choy A quarter cup kimchi adjust based on spice preference A half cup plain yogurt unsweetened A quarter cup water or green tea 
Sprinkle of sesame seeds optional. Why it's microbiome magic. This unique blend offers prebiotics from kimchi and bok choy, while yogurt provides probiotics. Smoothies ready! Hey there, I wanted to share with you one of my favorite fruits. This is a peach, one of my favorite summer fruits. Juicy, you can smell the fragrance. The peach actually comes from Asia. Uh, actually was transplanted and transported along the Silk Road. And it's got chlorogenic acid. This is actually a bioactive that uh, actually does a lot of things. It um, cuts off the blood supply to tumors. It actually helps to protect stem cells, your health defenses. Also good for gut health, and it's also got a good amount of dietary fiber. Uh, but the interesting thing about chlorogenic acid is it actually helps your metabolism by fighting body fat. So you can activate your good fat and fight your bad fat using chlorogenic acid. Plus, it's just a juicy, great fruit to select during the summer. What you want to do is you want to smell it, and it should actually smell really good. And by the way, yellow peaches actually tend to be a little bit sweeter and juicier than white peaches. But white peaches are also delicate and great. Dr. Will Lee out. Now, the next ingredient. Um, broccoli sprouts. You know, some people talk about um, living foods, right? Those are the young sprouting foods that have all the nutrients and the energy when they're just young babies. And later on, when they get older, they get distributed the energy on, on the whole bigger plant. Well, it turns out that broccoli sprouts have been studied to see if they can boost the immune system. And in my book, I talk about a research study where they gave young people in their 20s the flu shot. Actually, it's not a shot. They gave a flu in inhaler to protect them against the flu. And it turns out that if they gave them also a couple of shots of, a, of broccoli sprouts made into a smoothie, that's it. A couple of shots of this a day that you would actually improve the response like 20 times to the benefit protecting you against the flu. Boost your immune system. And when they even swabbed their noses afterwards, you know, where the flu might, virus might live, they were like almost all gone. Here is our next smoothie. Three, tropical tango. Ingredients. One cup chopped peaches. A half cup chopped broccoli sprouts frozen or fresh. A quarter cup plain yogurt unsweetened. A quarter cup water or coconut water. Bonus. Pinch of turmeric optional. Why is it a microbiome magic? The tropical fruits add sweetness and vitamins, while cauliflower provides hidden fiber for gut health. Yogurt offers probiotics. Homemade smoothies. You guys, some, some of you have seen these, these little walnuts. Walnuts are some of my favorite. Walnuts have actually been shown to improve your immune system by activating, feeding your gut microbiome. And when that actually happens, it actually makes your body respond better to uh, med medicines. Specifically, the study was done in patients with colon cancer, stage three colon cancer, getting regular cancer treatment, um, including nuts in their diet, actually lowered their mortality by more than 50%. So here's an example of something that your doctor's not gonna prescribe but that I would actually encourage you to eat if you're battling cancer, feed your gut, improve your immune system, help your immune, your own bodies to help defenses fight disease. And of course, a uh, good healthy immune system also prevents diseases uh, as well. Now, the next ingredient. There are foods that just can actually automatically boost our immune system by themselves. One of them is mango. You know, I love mangoes. They're juicy, sweet, filled with fiber. They got lots of vitamins and they also have bioactives. And, and I call them mango, by the way, mangoes and stone fruit, grand slammers of foods. These are foods, a whole table of foods I have in my, um, in my uh, book that all activate all five um, uh, defense systems at the same time, including the immune system. So you can slam it out of the park by eating these foods. Mango is one of my favorites tasty, juicy, sweet, you get vitamins, good minerals, and it actually contains these natural bioactives that actually can help boost your immune system. Here is our next smoothie. Four, Nutty Delight. Ingredients. A quarter cup chopped walnuts or almonds. A half cup chopped mango. A half cup plain yogurt unsweetened. A quarter cup water or plant-based milk like almond milk. Bonus. Drizzle of chia seeds optional. Why it's microbiome magic. Nuts offer healthy fats and fiber, while yogurt provides probiotics. Berries add antioxidants and prebiotics. Did you want this smoothie? I got two bonuses gotcha. for you today. All right, so when it comes to blood pressure, and this is not exactly a pantry food, but I'm gonna talk about them anyway. So mm. spinach and beets. Yes. First, the dose. One cup of cooked spinach or one cup of beet juice. 
All right, now here's the background. Spin Can you just have a beet? You could also have a beet, too. Spinach and beets grow close to the ground. Yeah. They absorb a lot of nitrogen from the soil. Very natural. Mm -hmm. When we eat spinach and beets and we chew them, this is why you want to cook it really right. tasty, right? Um, the, your bacteria, the tongue bacteria, tongue microbiome, healthy bacteria in your tongue, interacts with the nitrogen in the food, changes it into a form that when we swallow it, uh, is absorbed in the stomach as nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is a vasodilator. It makes our blood vessels widen lowers our blood pressure. So studies wow. have shown that one cup of cooked spinach will lower your blood pressure by three points over the course of a week, and beets and beet juice will do the same. Now, the next ingredient. Kiwi fruit, right? Everybody who's seen a kiwi, it's like this monkey ball shaped thing, furry, cut it down the middle, open it up, it's got this bright green um, uh, flesh, really juicy and sweet. It's packed with vitamin C and other vitamins, and there have been studies in humans, clinical studies in which they've actually taken young people and measured their blood at the beginning and looked at their DNA, how well it does, how well it can protect itself, and then they gave them one kiwi and they and they ate them and they measured after a couple of days that eating that one kiwi can protect their DNA, increase it by 60%. So you can just eat one kiwi a day and it pops up your defense mechanisms. If you eat three kiwis a day, it helps your DNA rebuild itself. So it actually repairs itself. So, you know, here's a simple, lowly kiwi fruit. You know, like I'll, I might have one for breakfast, for example, that can actually do a lot for you. Get ready for our ultimate gut cleansing smoothie powerhouse. This final recipe in our series is a true microbiome marvel. 5. Green Goddess Ingredients 1 cup leafy greens kale, spinach, or a mix A half cup chopped kiwi or green apple A quarter cup plain yogurt unsweetened a quarter cup water or green tea. Bonus. Squeeze of fresh lime optional. Why it's microbiome magic. This vibrant smoothie boasts prebiotics from leafy greens and kiwi apple, while yogurt provides probiotics. Man, I feel like a smoothie. Please give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and family, and subscribe for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth and happiness, with the key to vitality in your hands.